I'm here down by Pier 1. And why am I here? It's just that a few days ago there was a cold front that came down from the US. And it didn't really affect Jamaica in terms of rain and things like that. It had some rain. But it really manifested itself here with wind. And it caused the seas to just be so rough. And I'm here by Pier 1 because they suffered a lot of damage. So unfortunately this might be like my, my normal happy easy going videos but I just want to show you guys the power of nature and how strong the oceans could be. So I'm going to take you around Montego Bay and show you the damage caused by this cold front and the wind and how it kicked up the seas. And the seas man, when they're ready to take something back, there is no stopping them. So I'm here by Pier 1, let's, uh, let's take a little walk. Sorry, you know, I, I saw like one or two little videos online of this, but I never expected this amount of destruction. See a car in the back there? There used to be a road, a nice little road here that goes and that was the entrance to Pier 1 restaurant and club. It's, it's gone, it's just totally, totally gone. The road like totally eroded. Uh, never seen anything like this. Pier 1. The road used to be here, we used to have a nice sea wall here, all, all gone, that car, and take a look at these trailers parked up here, there is a boat overturned here, you know I always like to talk in the videos and tell you guys and show you but I don't even need to talk, you guys could see the destruction, washing up boats on land. And it's not even a hint of a road to Pier 1. It's so powerful. I just spoke to someone. They say yes, every now and then for a storm the water comes over, but never it moved the stone like how it did there. Amazing. So opposite Pier 1 there is a big parking lot, you know that you could park and there is usually a, actually a driving school there. The entire building. It was a small building, a driving school and they used to wash cars. Gone. So you have some buses, some old buses. The ground just gave away below them with the water. <sighs> Look at this thing. See, that's the driving institute I'm talking about. But there was some other construction here, some other building here that's totally gone. So there are videos online and on TikTok. I'm going to try to post them up and show you uh, these areas how it was during the storm and during and I think it's it was not storm like what you think with a lot of rain and it had a little bit of rain but it was mostly the wind and the wind really impacted you see So I drove down from Pier 1 after seeing all that destruction. I am now here in Harmony Park, down to the corner by Kelly Water Sports. Turn the camera around and show you what happened to Harmony Park Beach. The ocean is now, and the beach is now calm. Kelly Water Sports, they have a boat here and a boat there that got washed up on shore. In the distance, you can see the big inflatable that used to be out in the water right around here and out there you would see it used to have like this wall was a little more defined now it's almost disappeared this sea wall here there's another sea wall on this side that i think protected this area but if you look you can see even the shoreline is eroded 
Look at the roots of the trees, you can see getting exposed from being beaten out with water. And if you look, you can see the, the tape because the beach is closed off. From this end, you can see the destruction of the beach. Because that's the beach over the wall there. And here is all pathway, but it all got covered with sand. And you can see all the rubble and everything that got washed up. A guard was telling me that over there, the wall, as I said, is mostly gone. But that protected a lot of the water from coming in. So those sea walls really do help. So I'm here on the beach. This is the changing room. It is right there. This is our closest water beach, right up to this changing. Yeah. Imagine that. But the park itself is open, so you can still come and support them because they need it. Now, you know, it will cost some money to repair the beaches and that kind of thing. And they have it corded off and very safe. So still come down, enjoy the park. So I'm driving out of Harmony Park. It's so, that, that's so sad because Harmony Park is such a nice public space and public park and it's well designed it's such a nice cool place to go i'm th i'm glad that i still see people going there and enjoying themselves and i really hope they do repair the beach soon but you know after you put so much effort and you put something and you have something like that to get it destroyed so quickly anyway thankfully it's only the beach side so let's hope it's a speedy and you know not too expensive thing. So the next place I want to go and look at is Old Hospital because you know it has this seawall there that I go and I walk on and I did a few videos there. Let's go and see how this little freak storm affected Old Hospital Beach. I could already see the seawall and it is not as... <sighs> the seawall is usually a nice neat thing especially the way they built it. I could see that rocks move. I hope you guys know the size of those rocks. Let's go and take a closer look. So walking, there is a lot of rubble all over the place. You see all the rubble, all of these small rocks. The all these is usually not here at all. You could walk on sand up to the wall. So as I'm walking here, here looks normalish. You know, here was always a little more rocky and uneven. So we're not seeing a big change. But here is also not facing the brunt of the open ocean, if you know what I mean. Over there is. And I can see from here, there are rocks in the ocean that used to be on the seawall. All those rocks was not there before. All of the rubble. All of the rubble. As you can see, small rubble, big rocks. All of that was not there before. All of that most likely came and was beaten out, out of the seawall. At around this point, the seawall used to get flat. You know, they packed the rocks really nice. I'll put up some old video right now. So you can see it was a nice flat, even surface of the rocks. But take a look. It's all beaten down. Parts of the rock is loose, going out. Water, water moved those rocks. That was not there. Look how those rocks are over too. I don't have to be so careful. Oh, you can kind of see a semblance of it. Flat, flat. You see it going? All of this has caved away and moved over there or just off to the sides a little more. You know, I'm usually able to walk straight to the end. It's not that easy anymore. I've come to a point where there is a gap and I'll have to kind of climb down and go over. I don't want to go too far in because I'll have to take my time and I know, I, know I, I tend to be clumsy and I could fall down. You guys can see it. You can see all the rubble behind me. Just appreciate the size. Look at the rock I'm on. Have we seen it? All that is the rock. That's my feet on the sides of this rock. And they ended up out there. How do you... How do you even fix something like this? It seems very expensive to try and to come to put these rocks back in the same place. I don't know, man. Again, it is no way as rough as it was on Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. 
but you could still see how rough it is. I have a video of how calm here is. There is the cave, and from what I'm seeing, a lot of material got pushed up inside of the cave. So I'm not sure who's going to clear that out. So those JPS crew, that's the power crews. You know, JPS is the power provider in Jamaica. That's them fixing the lines here because it got damaged with the wind and maybe the waves. Yesterday I saw them fixing it by Coral Cliff. And I'll take you closer to Margaritaville and you can see how the wave had an impact on the walls there. That's Margaritaville in the back. And look at the wall. So the paint is peeling off. There is videos on TikTok of waters coming up, covering the road and running up this wall, taking off the paint. It was pretty, pretty powerful. I'm heading now down to Dead End to see how things are down on that side. I'm here, not on Dead End, Dead End, which is further up the road. You know, there is this other part of the beach where I come and swim because it's deeper. Dead End is too shallow. And you can see all the sand on the sidewalk. That is sidewalk here. The waves was powerful enough to hit and push the sand over into the sidewalk and into the road. It's a good bit of sand too. Someone is going to have to put it back over. There seems to be a positive. The beach actually got bigger. This beach is usually a very small beach. And I would say it ended around here. Like the water would come and beat up around here. But so much sand got pushed up, it actually extended the beach. So this little beach got bigger. I used to swim between this area here where it has this uh, broken down jetty. It had water and I used to swim here. Now there is sand. So hey, bigger beach. <laughs> As you can tell, you can see all the debris and seaweed and things that, that got washed up in the storm. I guess they'll take the opportunity when they come to clean up the sand and they'll clear this out also. All right, now let's go and drive down to dead end. It's literally about for 40 seconds drive down here. Here I am on dead end. It is way calmer, but water is still splashing up as you can see. Here is usually way, way calmer. And all I can see here is, you see any rubble? Like seaweed and stuff that hasn't been cleaned up yet. All that is from the storm. Now dead end is a bit deeper down on the wall than where I showed you. So we're not really getting the sand effect here. So by this little blob they have in the sea, there is definitely more sand on both ends. I would usually swim right up and snorkel right around and water would come right up to the wall, now it has sand. So take a look there. Now we see it. There was dirt. They, they actually built up 
an embankment there up until this high lawn and I'll show you video of evidence of that when I went plane spotting over there and all of that is gone so the waves were so powerful it removed all of that embankment they built up over there by the lights for the airport runway that's about it you know I thought down here didn't get affected much then I saw the sand and then when I was looking over by the where the runway lights are I saw that entire embankment missing so a lot of damage happened here too well and I think this is a positive effect the beach might get extended over time who knows but you could see the power of nature the power of the water and how it moved all the rocks by old hospital and then how pier one looks it's just something else I just wanted to very quickly drive around get a survey of the damage and show you guys anyway guys thanks for watching as always remember to like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one okay bye there's a plane coming in you know how it is here